Hi there. Today I want to talk to you. I want to talk to you about how to keep the door open when you're not parked on a flat level surface. Sometimes you're in an urban situation where you just want a little bit more stealth. You don't want your door all the way open to where it's going to lock in the fully open position. You'd just like to have it open a little bit and maybe you're throwing groceries in or whatever and you don't want everybody in the world to be able to see inside your van. Sometimes you might just want some fresh air but not too much fresh air. Anyway, we are going to use this kit we got from Van Sillery. Let me show you what's inside it. Included with this kit there's a welcome card with a nice little note on the back and a link to the installation instructions. There is epoxy, JB Weld. This is hardener and resin. There is a popsicle stick used to mix that epoxy with. A rubber glove to keep the epoxy off your hands. Some alcohol cleanup wipes. A small Scotch-Brite pad. This is used to scuff up the area where this is going to stick. And then, of course, there's the star of our show, the roller stopper. In addition to all of this stuff, you're going to need a Sharpie to mark the location where you want to place this thing. A piece of cardboard or something like this to mix the epoxy on. And a few paper towels for cleanup. So that's it. Let's get to it. So the first thing we want to do here is figure out where exactly along this track we want the door to stop. In our case, we have a, a countertop here and we kind of want the door right there, right even with it. So that's what we're going to do. And so then we come back over here and using a Sharpie, we're going to mark the location of this roller on the roller track. And we want to mark the center of that roller. Just like that. And then, four inches behind that, we're going to put another mark on top of this track. Right at the center point where that roller rolls on there. That's so that we know where to position the little roller stopper from side to side so that we make sure it's right on the center of that roller. Next, we take the Scotch-Brite pad and we're gonna scuff up the bottom of this. That's the flat side. And then we'll take the Scotch-Brite pad again and we're gonna clean this up a bit. This is where the epoxy is gonna stick this thing down. And we want it good and clean so the epoxy sticks really well. And now that that's been scuffed up, we'll take one of these alcohol wipes and first, wipe the bottom of the roller stopper and then wipe this track right where we scuffed it to again make sure this is very clean. So now we're ready to mix the epoxy and stick this thing down. You want to make sure when you do this step that you've got 24 hours that you can leave this thing without running that door over that roller. You need to let it sit and set completely for 24 hours. That for us is the most difficult part of this whole operation. Okay, so now we mix equal amounts of resin and hardener. To open this up, you got to take the little point inside the cap there and poke it in there like that, make a hole, and we'll squeeze out maybe a dime size little blob of that. That's the hardener. We'll do the same thing with the resin. One's black, one's white. Equal amounts of each. And then using the popsicle stick, you just mix this up until it's a nice, even gray color. Now, you just put a little bit on here. Try to be nice and clean with it. You want just a nice thin coating on there so it's not blobbing out all over the place. So now we'll put this on the van and we will put this right here so it lines up right where we marked it. And I'm gonna push down on it gently just to make sure it's seated really well. 
And then finally, we're gonna wipe away this excess epoxy and the Sharpie mark using the alcohol swab. Okay, so that's all done. We're gonna let it sit for 24 hours. Make a note of the time when you do this. I've got 10 minutes till noon. So that means tomorrow at noon, we should be able to open our door. Okay, it's about 12.30, so it's been a little over 24 hours. Let's see how this works. Pretty cool. There's all the way open like before. Partially closed. And all the way closed. Okay, we'll put a link in the description below for where you can get this product. If you found this video helpful, give us a thumbs up. That would sure help us out. And consider subscribing if you'd like to see more like this in the future. Till next time, thanks so much.